everyone. Thank you so much for checking out Crafty Little Rosebud here on YouTube. Today we are doing a plan with me for the rest of December. Um, I will be sure to link below all of the shops that I use kits or sticker sheets from. And then um, I also have links to uh, my social media and any referral links or discount codes are listed down below as well. As you can see here, we planned this out the last time and we have already planned out the first two weeks of December and now we are just working on the um, last two weeks. So the first um, thing we're going to use for this week of December 10th is we've got these vintage Christmas sticker boxes I'm going to lay down and then I've got these rose gold sleigh headers. These are from Fabulously Planned and these are from Megan Renee Plans. So we will get those laid down. We've also got our Christmas countdown stickers that we will be putting down as well. So these are for a classic Cappy Planner. I'm using them in the Erin Condren Horizontal though. So they are a bit longer than um, needed. So I started at the bottom and we're gonna extend them up. They'll probably go up here some um, more than usual. So what we're gonna do, I think, is I want to alternate between, um, Trying to think, I know I want to do the greens and reds alternating on this side. So I will get those laid down. Um, and I have no problem mixing kits. I know some people like specific kits for um, that go with their planner, but I'm one of those people, I will buy a kit even if it doesn't go for my planner and still use it. Although I will say that Megan Renee Plans actually gives you a lot of options. Um, with her shop, you get a choice on a lot of them between Mini Happy Planner, Classic Happy Planner, Erin Condren, Vertical, and Horizontal. So she's one of those shops that is very good about inclusion of all the different shops. So just something to make note of if that's important to you. Now I do think this is going to be a little too long. I should have done some overlapping, but I did not. So I will just cut off the extra at the top. Like I said, it is for the classic Happy Planner. Um, I just figured I'd go ahead and use it in my Erin Condren. I thought about hoarding it until next year because I am probably going to make the switch to the Happy Planner. Um, but you know, I didn't want to hang on to it. I wanted to go ahead and use it. So I don't have to have this perfect as long as I get it on there pretty well. So, got those full boxes down there and they do cover up the full thing and they kind of blend over the days. If you like it to be within its set day, then you won't want to go with this style. We're going to do our slate headers. They are in rose gold and we are just going to put them right here on each day. So, and I've got enough to do two weeks worth, but I don't think I'm going to use them all. I think I will probably um, just do this week and then I will hang on to them until next year, unless I decide to put them in my mini happy planner. My mini happy planner, um, I have yet to film anything with. I'm contemplating doing a plan with me, which this might actually come out afterwards if I do do a plan with me with it for Christmas. Um, we will see. So I'm just putting those sleigh headers down and um, I think on this part of the week though we're going to have to do them a little bit differently because right here I put an Aaron sticker down. So for this part of the week we will put them over on this side. That way again they're kind of all in line or for the most part. And, um, and then we'll lay our full boxes down in just a moment. Um, there may have to be some cutting as well for these full boxes. So I should have gotten them in a different size, but I did not. So that's okay. So I might actually, instead of cutting them, I might just do some overlapping. Kind of save myself the hassle having to cut them down. 
Well, let's see. Let's go ahead and put the bottom one that I want down. I don't want it going any farther than this. So go ahead and get that down, and then I'll just overlap this one onto those. And that way, I don't have to worry about any cutting, but they're not too big. And then we're going to use our last box down here. And I'll put it up as high as it can possibly go. And I do have a little bit to cut off, but not much. So, so next time, if I buy it with the intent of hoarding it, I should just hoard it and not use it, right? So, and I did cut that very crooked. So what I like to do when I accidentally cut stuff crooked is I just kind of re-layer it. I don't know if you saw that. So anyways, I re-layered it just so it didn't look like I cut it super crooked. So, and I might, I'll go ahead and do that with this one too that I cut earlier. So find the flat end that is not cut crooked. Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? I can angle it. So do that and that way it doesn't look like I cut it crooked. So this is all I'm going to lay down right now. I do have another kit that I'm using for next week that might have some colors that'll go with this and I might pull from that in a moment. But first we're going to go ahead and just lay down our little holiday trackers. Let's see, where did I leave space over here? Actually, you know what, since these are kind of plain, we'll go ahead and we'll just put our holiday trackers right there, kind of in the center of each of the boxes they would have been in. And that way it doesn't look so empty over there. So, and this might, like I said, bother some people, but I actually kind of like it. Um, I used to try to stay in the lines and I've gotten better about just not worrying too much if I'm in these, the set space here. So it is crazy to think we are so close to Christmas. I mean, I feel like the holidays just come super quick and fly by. And for our household, we've got all the holidays. So you've got Halloween, um, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, and then it's mine and my daughter's birthdays. And then anniversary and We've just got a lot that goes on all the way until, you know, mid-February. So this is all we're doing for this. I did lay down my nap trackers, dishwasher, litter box. And I did this for all the weeks. And I laid down these really awesome laundry stickers. So you've got wash, dry, and fold. I figured that would take up a lot less space than trying to put down each individual task. And of course, trying to do my planning on Fridays because the weekends do get busier once December hits. Next, um, I've got this kit from Megan Renee Plans. I did do a full flip through of it in a haul. I did pull a sticker just to mark which week I was going to use it on. And so we will go through this. There are some pieces of this that I will hang on to and not use. Um, so we'll lay that out now. Um, we'll start with the full boxes. I do have an appointment, so that kind of throws that off a little bit. Um, so let's see, I want to alternate. So I think I'll alternate these two, um, stickers up here and I might just lay them down in that order. I think they will look nice. And I think this was for a vertical um, Erin Condren. I can't remember, but just in case, we're gonna start at the bottom and work our way up just in case it is for the Happy Planner. I can't remember. So um, that's the bad thing when you just buy from every category. You can't always remember exactly where it was supposed to go. So, and it does kind of look like this was for the Happy Planner, which is totally on me. I did that, and that's fine. But I probably shouldn't have done that knowing that I was going to lay it down in a horizontal Erin Condren. But we will make it work. We're just going to end up cutting off a good portion of the top of this. So you know what I think I'm going to do instead? 
just cut that right in half and use this little spirally guy. And put him down and then I've got this little piece left so I will stick it back on the sheet because I will find a use for it, I'm sure. So there we go, that's how we're going to do those boxes. And then over here, I already laid down one little guy right there. And we will just lay these down and let's see, I don't really wanna cut any of these. I could probably make, I think I'm going to just extend down some with these. Cause I really don't wanna cut the design on any of these. Um, there's too much that you would lose if you cut the design on these. With the other one, you didn't really lose much. So, and I really don't know what plans we have for these days quite yet. We're not quite there. Um, so where I add in plans, it'll just kind of be, you know, last minute. So, and we're gonna go ahead, and where do I wanna use this little guy at? Cause I don't wanna waste him. I don't really wanna tack him on right there though, cause it's my nap tracker right there. Mm, decisions, decisions. We're gonna just hang on to that for right now. I'm sure I'll find a place to put it later. So these are the full boxes. Now we've got all sorts of things over here. We are going to pull a habit tracker. I don't do my bills there. I've got to clean this week to buy dinners um, and little things. I've got lots of to do's and check boxes. I'm just trying to think what do I want to put where? I think what I'm going to do first is we will lay down our countdowns while I debate. Um, actually, you know, well, no, it's still going to block. Okay, so for Sunday over here, I'm going to put my habit tracker for the week. I think it'll be fine there. Okay, and let's see. We are going to put our little date trackers down here. I think these little guys are probably going to bounce around the page for this particular week because I know I'm going to put my headers over here to do my list and I don't want them to get too congested. So get these all laid out. I'm just trying to leave myself enough space because I know we will have a lot to do um, with Christmas being that close. All right, and then let's see for this. Well, I know I'm going to put my header there, so my little Christmas countdown guy can go right there. Do I even have that on camera? Okay. And um, these little globes are really cute. I was really excited when I saw them. Um, I don't always do a Christmas countdown um, in a planner, but I do always do one. So sometimes it's done just on a calendar at home and sometimes it's not. So, okay, we've got those put down. Now I've still got a lot of kit left. And I think what I'm going to do is I've already got a clean house there. So I'm just going to take this to clean header and we're just gonna pop it right there. I may even go ahead and trim it just a bit so that it's not colliding with the clean sticker I've already put down. But this will be a day of cleaning. We do not have any plans. And it would be good to clean the house very well before Christmas because I know my daughter will get a lot of stuff. All right, to buy dinners in this week, I'm not worried about that. Little things, I want these to-dos. So what I'm going to do is we will take the to-dos and we will alternate them on here between the red and the green. 
and we'll go ahead and we'll make sure we use red for this one because we've got a green appointment label there. I don't want it right up on the deco, but pretty close. So. And I mean, they don't have to be perfect, just as long as they're on there. That's really all that matters for me. I am a list maker. I would not need a daily planner. I can make a list and just go off of it. And then, why did I do that? And then uh, I, um, I just kind of write the days out beside it. And it kind of gives me the flexibility of moving it, which is why I put like chores like the dishwasher on the notes section because that may not necessarily get done on a certain day. I just like making note that it needs to get done. Plus, doesn't everyone feel better when they get to check off that they completed something they needed to do? I know I personally feel a lot better. Um, so we're going to continue with our to-do headers. And since it's going to be right up on a red, and these I will go ahead and put right up on them because I need all the extra space I can get on the weekends. We stay so busy. So, and this was a week kit. So I wanna show you, I have so much of this left. And it's just like, well, what do I do with all these leftovers? So I might go and look back on um, last week and see about adding them in there. I am going to take this weekend banner though and plop it up at the top. My weekend starts on Friday because I work a short day. So for me, the weekend banner up there works really well. So that's what we've got laid out for that. Now let me flip back to last week really quick. And let's see, I've got my headers, my fold headers. And I don't think I really want to throw in a checklist. I think it'll kind of throw that off. But it might be wise to go ahead and do a little errands checklist right here. So I will take this little red. We usually don't do more than three or four errands. And I will put this under there just to kind of make it a little less plain but still very functional. So we've got our errands and then um, I'm trying to think. Do I want to throw the green down somewhere? Um, I do have got to clean down here. I think I'll put the green right there and we will write out my three target areas in the house that I would like to get clean. And that will be how we use that. So just to use up a little bit more of this. Like I said, I have so much left. I don't know what to do with it. Um, so, and actually, you know what? We're gonna take this little guy that was leftover extra with the candy cane. We're gonna flip him upside down and we are going to throw him over here because I don't really have this space being used. I've got my nap tracker. And as long as I've got two lines for that, we're good. So we will get this guy used up. And he has cut a little crooked, but that'll be fine. So there we go. So that is that week. Next, we are going to our week of Christmas. Again, I already pre-planned with some stickers there. Um, they're the ones you've already seen. And then I've got this Plush Paperies Micro Kit. I did already lay one down. So we're going to lay this down. And then I pulled these glitter headers that I got as a little extra, and we're going to use those for like our weekly task. So how we're going to do this is I did lay down the Merry Christmas already for Christmas Day. And then um, I think I'm just gonna use the full boxes all through here. So we will go ahead and we will do this one right here. I really like them. And at Christmas Eve is when we open all the presents with all of the family. So I will go ahead and get that laid down. So I've got the girl opening presents because we do open presents on Christmas Eve, Merry Christmas on Christmas Day. And then we will go ahead and we will do it's the most wonderful time of the year. And get this laid down. And I guess these were for a vertical. So 
I probably could have laid them down a little bit differently, but I didn't. So we're just going to deal with some random white spaces and it'll be fine. And then here is this sticker. So with the micro kits from Plush Breeze, you only get four stickers, which it's fine because it covers the first half of the week or you can do every other, however you want to do that. Now on Christmas Eve, I know that we've got some running to do, so I am going to take two of these boxes here and I'm gonna put those down with the times that we need to be places. Um, I don't know those times quite yet. Um, they're a little up in the air, but that is fine. So I will get those laid down. I know that we've gotta be at his family's at one time, my fiance's, and then my family at another. So I'll write the earlier time and the later time. And then, um, let's see, Christmas day, I refuse to go anywhere. So I'll put the little um, TV icon down. I'm sure we will watch Christmas movies. And I'll just kind of write in what we're watching. And then, um, Let's see, we'll go ahead. We've got a weekend banner and a habit tracker here. We'll get those laid down. So luckily this week is not going to be a busy week, I don't think. Now we will be getting ready for a New Year's Eve party. Oh, that's off camera, but I laid down the little weekend banner. Got my habit tracker. We're just gonna plop him down here in the notes. Not sure what we're tracking this week. Like I said, it's very up in the air. Um, let me go ahead and we will lay down our glitter headers. One, two. Okay, I should have enough. We will go ahead and lay those down. I'm actually not going to lay them down for these days because we're really not doing much of anything. But I will lay them down here and my little list will go under them because I really like to make to-do list for each day and I like putting the glitter headers down it kind of reminds me of oh hey focus on this that and the other so and we will go ahead and just do a little short checklist those actually kind of lay on the bars pretty well if I put a gap there so we'll go ahead and just do it that way So, you line them up, well, you know what, I'm not worried about it. I don't actually check off at the hearts anyways, I kind of um, make a list and just check it off however I see fits, because sometimes I do go over three. Um, probably won't do laundry on Christmas Day. There are laundry stickers and stuff on here, which is great but I don't really think I need them. Um, I don't need the work sticker. I'm just kind of looking at what is an option to use on here and what I actually need to use. And there's not much of the words that, um, or the wording that I need to use. Now, there is one coming up that I will use because I didn't even lay one down. And that is clean. We will definitely be doing some cleaning um, probably on that Sunday. So instead of making like a to-do list of other things, this one is going to be a clean list. And we will just put in the things I need to clean. So there's how I did that. It's kind of down on the white, but kind of on the header. Um, for Friday, we're just going to do our short little checklist. I have more than enough checklist sitting around the house. So for me, when I get a kit, I really need to just use what we have. Now I've already done a laundry sticker, so I won't use that. Um, I've already put down the word clean, relax. We can definitely put that on Christmas. And we can lay a payday down. So I'm, I buy kits, but I'm very bad about using all the pieces to them. So we'll put our payday sticker down. See, I've still got lots of boxes left. I'll probably, um, tape these in here and as plans come up on that weekend, I will use those to mark that. But otherwise, there's not really much more I need to use. So, let's see, we will put a relax sticker down. 
for Christmas Day because we are not going anywhere. And um, that's really all I've got to use. I guess I'll go ahead and use this money bag over with the payday. So, and I still have lots of glitter headers left. So we'll put this little money bag right next to the payday. But that's all I've got for that. Um, this is definitely very plain. I might pull some stickers later from something else. But um, for now, I'm just gonna leave it kind of as is because those plans or lack of at the moment are so up in the air, I don't want to, um, I don't want to put something down and end up needing to peel a sticker up. We've got one day till Christmas there, and then Merry Christmas right here. And we'll put it right there, because I know I'm going to end up writing in what movies we watch for Christmas. So that's all I've got for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have some wonderful holidays. Bye!